But uh, at the end of the day, it's all worth it. They have a touching ceremony. They, they take away your belt so your butt crack shows. And you're an honorary, honorary road runner man. So uh, let's bring up your uh, feature now. You may have seen him on Last Comic Standing, uh, Late Shift with Kevin Ferguson, or uh, Music Video Plays. I'm hoping you have some good plumbing jokes. Let's give it up for Bubba Bradley. <laughs> Biggest little city in the world. And they're proud of that. But to me, that's like being the world's tallest midget. <laughs> you can see the cover, but you ain't getting the Cheerios, okay? <laughs> you take it for what it is. There's signs everywhere you go that are scary. I was driving into Minnesota, first thing I see is a giant billboard that says this, we do cows. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. There's a lot of angry people going to that website, is all I'm saying. This is not what I paid $9.99 for. First voice are the exact same voice. Because if you ask, you ask a woman, you say, hey, what if your husband or boyfriend said they don't want to go to the store, how would they say it? I don't want to go to the store. <laughs> Alright. I'll tell a retarded person. I don't want to go to the store. That's what they think of those guys. So keep cheating on them. You know, it's <laughs> They will sucker you in though with the hard alcohol, won't they? They put a bunch of stuff together in a glass and they shake it up like it's a chemistry class. Then they name it like it's a child. Right? They go, we'll call that sex on the beach. They got a name for a shot called a red-headed slut. Did you ever hear of a fuzzy navel? You ever wonder where they come up with these names? These are things you hope to acquire when you're intoxicated. You hope to find a red-headed slut with a fuzzy navel to have sex on the beach. That's some false advertising right there, because that never happens. I say, let's start calling the drinks what actually can happen, like miss a car payment, <laughs> take on the ugly bitch, anybody? <laughs> Community service, <laughs> poor decisions followed by herpes, anybody? It's hysterical. First of all, if there was a little person in the audience, they wouldn't be mad at you find people for laughing. They'd be mad at me, chasing me out into the parking lot, and each and every one of you would be right behind them going, oh my god, it's an angry bitch <laughs> Because that'd be a hell of a show, all right? <laughs>